What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, today we're going to be reacting to the finale of Mr. Love uh, Queen's Choice, this one's titled Bonds, and not only is this the finale of Mr. Love, it's also the finale of the summer 2020 season, this is it, uh, we finished ReZero just before this, I say just before this, I had chicken curry in between, uh, but my tongue accidentally, so don't mind that, <laughs> um, I'm, I'm a good human being I swear, um, so yeah. This is the final show of the season to conclude, and has been by far the biggest surprise of the season. Like, I went in thinking this would be some sort of romance, slice of lifey, just one girl and her four guys, reverse harem type deal, but no, this is... I can't even tag this as a romance anymore. It's like, there's obviously romance elements to it, but like, this is not a romance show. This is a story-driven show primarily, I think. Um, I don't know if the game... I assume the game has a bit more romantic elements because you'll have more time to spend with each individual character. For example, uh, Kiro, we spent very little time with in this anime. Uh, or whoever the hell he is now. Was, is he Helios? Was that his name? I don't even know. Like, I feel like a lot of stuff is being skipped in order to reach this finale and reach the finishing point they want. And because of that reason, I expect this to not get a sequel. As of right now, no sequel has been announced, and I don't expect one either, because I feel like if they knew they were going to get a sequel, they wouldn't have rushed this ending. They would have picked a different point to end it, and then build it up and have more time for each of the characters. That's partly my reasoning for it. Um, but yeah, we're all converging here onto the yacht, or whatever boat we're on, where Hades is. Uh, CEO has been uh, investigating everything that's going on. He's been through these different parallel times, seeing what the future would be. Uh, there's the frozen futures, which I think is what happens if uh, uh, Hades gets his way, essentially, uh, because he's going to be knocking everyone out, and the electromagnetic waves are going to be pulsing and turning 0.01% of a, a success rate into evolvers and dawning the new world. So. Hang on, let's do 7 billion, so 7,000, 7 million, 7 billion, let's say that, uh, at 0.1% uh, uh, chance, that is, what is that? That's still 70, so 70 million people survive. So, a moderately sized country's worth of people now inhabit the entire globe. That's pretty significant. I don't think he answered what the hell is going to happen. Well, no, the bodies, depending on what their evolve ability are, the bodies will, like, if it's a fire-based evolve, evolve it, it burns up, right? If it's ice, it shatters and then melts or something like that. Like, I think the evolver failures do clean themselves up. I was about to say, what are you meant to do with, like, six point, over six billion corpses left in the world? And the, like, the infrastructure around, like, how is 70 million people meant to run the entire infrastructure? Oh, never mind. These are not the questions we ask on this show. Like, I don't think he's thought that one through, but whatever. Um, we also see, um, I believe, according to you guys, and thanks for the information, apparently this is Haku's dad that is uh, helping out uh, with his rehabilitation and him coming back to uh, save uh, our main character and oppose Hades, I guess. Um, apparently that's his dad. Apparently there's some story there that needs to be looked into if you've played the game, so fair enough. Uh, again, I don't know what the deal with Helios is, and why he now is Helios. Like, why did that transition happen? Do we have time to answer that? Almost well, certainly not. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, CEO's uh, Evolver ability he now has more control over, and is evolved, essentially, uh, since he can now stop time for Evolvers, and specifically choose people he wants to stop time for. Uh, which, in general, he just stopped time. Now he's be like, you two stop, you can stay, uh, sort of deal. Although we've only ever seen him actually stop people. He's never chosen some, if you know what I mean. <clears throat> and now we are on, well, we're going to the yacht, and we're going to have the final showdown. We're also going to see what the hell uh, Ares' deal is, because Ares is, or Lucian, Shimon, whatever. Um, he's the reason why our main character actually knows she's coming here. Uh, I'm thinking maybe he expects something different when she does awaken, because she's on the very much the progress to awakening. We had the beam come out of her head or whatever. Um, so I think her evolving, I think that's part of Ares' plan. Like, just just my 
crazy theory guess. Ares, I think, and or specifically Lucian, uh, underneath that bipolar sort of disorder thing. I don't know what's going on with him and why he's got these split identities. Um, I don't know if it's just his evolved power that's causing him it or what, but I think he expects the awakening of the Queen to do something that Hades would not like. I think the Queen awakening would put the control back in her hands and then she would directly oppose Hades in that way. So whilst Hades does want the Queen to kind of wake up, I think he's underestimating the control that the Queen would still have in that instance. And maybe that's what uh, Shimon is thinking, is that maybe, well, if we can nurture it in a good environment and unlock it, then we have a positive future as opposed to this 0.1 success rate future. Maybe that's what he's going for. That's just complete and utter guess on my part, though, based on what little information I know and remember from previous episodes, because, my God, there's so much in this show that I've forgotten, I'm sure. Anyway, uh, apparently we're also deviating from the game a little bit here in terms of story, or we're making choices for the sake of time that really would have taken much longer. I don't know how it works. I don't know. I'm just going to enjoy this adaptation. 22 minute 55, a little short. Uh, looks like we're getting both an OP and an ED as well. So, yeah, relatively short episode considering. So, as always, these are time-based reactions. Bottom left of the screen, you're going to see the timer for the episode. I'll count you down 3, 2, 1, play. Then on play, you start the episode, I start the episode, and we'll be in sync. Watching this officially on Crunchyroll, as that's where it's been simulcast this season. Links to that is in the description. And, uh, yeah, with, without further ado, let us finish the summer 2020 season with the finale of Mr. Love in 3, 2, 1, play. Hades. Okay, this is probably our main guys coming in. Or main character and CEO, I'm going to guess. Yes. Mm-hmm. Even if it means sacrificing yourself as uh, CEO found in his uh, futures. That's what you think. All right, it works, love. Okay, into OP. Are they going to change it one last time for the finale, or are they going to keep it the same? No, just keep it the same. I'll miss this OP. This is a good OP. I still find it weird that Hack Sampai is the only one that points like that. Everyone else holds their hand out. He always points. I don't know if there's any meaning to that, but it just bugs me every time. Anyway. The last time we'll be hearing this. Oh, boy. Here we go. Bonds. Yes. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's a lot. Of... That's a lot. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm loading. Holy shit. Sturdy boat. <laughs> oh, God. Don't assume that. I mean... Nice. Alright. He's going to take the ship. How? I don't know.
Jesus Christ. Whoa. Whoa, okay. Hey, he's here. Holy shit. Oh shit. I'm loving the new outfit. Mm-hmm. Determines on the mission right now. Save the reunion stuff for later. Whoa. Okay. That's a different mood than I got from him before. Is really no one here at the ship's controls? Interesting. Do you know how to unlock said power? It's nice to know that you have it, but how do you use it? Yeah. Ho oh ho. You took way too long. Way too long. Is this Helios? No. It was Ares. Aha. Uh -huh. So yeah, he does want her to confront Hades. I always knew Ares wasn't particularly fond of... Anyway. Oh. Oh. I mean, immediately recognize. Okay. That's... That's pretty quick, but whatever. Something's off here. Ho. Ho. Hmm. 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 Secret stairway, secret stairway. Huh. Elios, there we go. Oh shit, that was way too close. Stormtrooper aim once more. Like, how has none of them been hit? Incredible. How do they know of Helios? I mean, he's still protecting her. Unless he's been part of... Has Kira been through the same process that Hack Senpai has? And that's why they both have entirely different airs around them? I get the feeling it might be that. Oof. Hmm. Castle of Shadows, of course it is. Here we go again. Alright, Queen, bring your ray of light out. Hmm. Oh! What? Fellow member? Huh? I'm so confused now. Huh? They're manifesting in the real world. 
bizarre. Holy shit. But they're still coming back. From the shadows. Are they actually disappearing fully though? Or is it every one he's shooting is manifesting in the real world now? Oof. Creepy, but yeah. It looked like he was about to say something there. And calming outbreak. I'm so lost. Now where the hell are we? Oh god. This we now in the Madoka Labyrinth. Ha. Huh. Mm. Yep. Holy shit. Will you though? Nice. Oh, that's a garment. Oh, it's spreading. It's spreading a lot. <coughs> Who's that? Who's that laughing? Repeating shots. Hmm. Oh, damn. Jesus. You ever think about knocking? Oh, you can freeze them as well. That's pretty dope. Oh, shit. Mm hmm. God damn. I love it. Who was that laughing? A past queen, maybe? Oh. Oh. I see. She was never meant to be the queen. She just held the queen. Okay, it's flying back. Not enough, though.
Yeah. Oh. I mean... Now what? <laughs> Technically he's been successful. What's gonna happen here? I mean, you gotta put yourself through here, because otherwise you're dead. <laughs> Just saying. Hey. And okay. Hang about. Four colors. Yeah. Purple for Shimon. The blue for Haku. The yellow is for Kiro. And then what was the other color? That'll be for Zen. Yeah, yellow for Kiro. Red, okay. Mm-hmm. Tea post for donuts. Mm-hmm. Oh shit. Here we go. Oh. Oh damn. Shit. The true queen is here. Oh, damn. Love this music. <sighs> nice. Okay. <laughs> Fucking amazing. Jesus. I mean, you didn't have to completely wreck it, I mean. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. All right. <sighs> Holy shit. <sighs> ha. Huh. It wasn't the true queen. Oof. That wasn't the true queen. You have been deceived this entire time, my dude. And now, I don't know if you're dead or if you've just been saved. That was the pen clashing out, wasn't it? Yeah, it was the pen. Is it broken? But it's falling apart anyway. What? What? Okay. I'm being successful. 
But what was that little chip inside the pen? Okay. Oh, to wake them up? He get... So he gave her that data right... Wow. Okay. Okay, Lucian. I see. So there was some important meaning to it after all. Is it though? <laughs> Is it though? <laughs> so we're not gonna... Okay. Sure. Not gonna happen. As long as humanity exists, that day is never gonna happen. I'm sorry, I cannot be that optimistic. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Come on, color, come back. Color, come back. Come on, Carla, come back. Damn it, I was hoping they cut back and the color would start flowing in. Anyway. Hmm. Oh. I'm still confused by Helios. I really am confused by him. Well, obviously. I'm sure it is. Whoa. Interesting. So creepy. So creepy. I love it, though. I love that creepy aspect of it. And we're going into ED. Yes, we are. I thought they played the ED over that little recap or epilogue. And I think that's it until... Yeah, I don't think there's any after credits or anything. Doesn't look like it. Well, that's a conclusion, I guess. Jesus Christ, this show is crazy. I'll save it for after the ending so I can actually formulate some thoughts in my head. I think I was joined by my dog briefly there, but he's left. At least I think. Yeah, he's left. Alright, and then we get one little final drawn visual. Probably. Yep, there they all are. Happy birthday. Sure, I guess it's a birthday somewhere. Well then. I mean, give it to it. I mean, it was a finale, alright. That's one way to put it. Okay, so, um, Jesus Christ. Right, so she unlocked the power of the Queen. Truly awoken. Uh, uh, Hades believed he had the true queen's blessing of sorts. Um, but that obviously that obviously is not the true queen. 
this is the true queen, and then we've got an anti queen or something, uh, the dark queen, to uh, contend with. And I guess that's where the story will go on from there. What is this entity? Why is she here? Is she the reason why Evolvers exist in the first place? Things like that are probably going to get answered. Um, like I said, I don't know if this is getting a season two. At least nothing's been officially confirmed as far as I'm aware. Um, at least I don't see anything of news. Like, not many shows this season got immediate uh, sequels, interestingly. It was um, Rent a Girl for End of All Things. Um, then it was uh, Uzaki. Rent a Girlfriend and Uzaki were the two main ones that I noticed as getting second seasons. Um, uh, Uma Musume got announced as one, but that wasn't immediately after the sequel. Fruits Basket obviously got its um, third season and final season. And we got some new project announcements here and there, but not really many not really many sequels were announced this time around, which is interesting. Um, but yeah, I'm still... I think a lot of Haku Senpai stuff could be explained more. Uh, I, I, I assume it was cut for time. Like I can only assume that it was just cut for time. They can't explain all of that in one episode. I mean, they could have made a 13-episode show if they wanted to explain that. Um, maybe throw in who the hell Helios is? Like, what? I I have no idea on what Helios is, so, uh, comment section, please help me. At my, please help. <laughs> um, I think you explained some of, uh, Hack Senpai's stuff last time out. I think. I didn't see, I saw you commented, I didn't read that comment just in case of the finale, but I will go back and watch, uh, read that now after this. Um, and then, yeah, please help me with understanding Helios and things like that. Uh, uh like here's the thing, I want to be mindful of spoilers just in case this does get a second season and does some and does something with it. But at the same time, A, I'm gonna forget by then anyway, let's be real. I, I forget things that happen after just like two weeks after the finale, so waiting a year or so before this gets a sequel, I, I'm sure I'll forget it. And B, I feel like that's not something they cover in a second season. I feel like they just continue the story from where they left off and then go on with that and maybe come back to Helios a little later in like a character episode. He's like, why are you Helios? Says the main character and then he explains what how it happened. Maybe that would happen. But since there's no season two on the on the online, I don't mind spoiler comments on uh, who the hell Helios is and why he exists, essentially. I thought it was going to be something to do with... Um, I thought it was going to be something to do with uh, Hacker Senpai as well. They were both drafted in, but it seems like, no, he was actually a Black Swan member because he because Hades said fellow Black Swan member. So why is he... Unless... Okay. It doesn't explain why he doesn't really know the main character, although maybe he did and he was just putting on a front to her. Um, but maybe he was... Maybe Kira was infiltrating Black Swan simultaneously as uh, doing everything he was in his other life, but he was actually trying to get in and disassemble it from the inside, get the information, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to assume it is part of the motive there. I can only assume that's the motive anyway. But, um... Yeah, that was a fun show, man. Like, so unexpected. Like, I think that's the... The big thing about this is that it was, this was just not expected to be this type of show, right? We, I think most of us that had not heard of the game saw, based on paper games, a Tome dating sim game. It's like, okay, it's going to be reverse harem. It's going to be, like, even this says reverse harem. I'm like, that's not really a major element. The romance aspects of this show are honestly lacking. Like, it's... Because they've had to skip so much to make this story complete and finish on time, the romance aspect of the show kind of got pushed aside. And I'm fine with that, because that would probably just overcomplicate it, and they've already tried to skip so much to make it work that, y you know, it, it. I think it would just bloat it otherwise. But I wouldn't mind seeing more of the romance aspects of it. Uh, but that seems like something I have to actually 
I'd actually have to play the game for, right? And I do not have the time to play many games recently. Uh, right now, my gaming is uh, Seven Days to Die with Ollie and um, Genshin Impact. Now that I've uh, found out that exists, like, what? Um, that game is inc for a 12 gigabyte free to play gacha game. That shit is incredible. I highly recommend it if you haven't already seen it. Uh, if you like Zelda Breath of the Wild, just go play that. It's an anime version of that. It's got battle pass system. It's got co-op. It's got dungeons. It's got... It's... It's insane. For 12 gigs, free to play. Insane. Anyway, uh, that's going to do it for today, guys. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave a like if you enjoyed uh, the episode and the series as a whole. Leave a comment on the finale and how you think the season went. How it compared to the game. If it did rush a lot towards the end, because I'm hearing that it has rushed a lot towards the end to make it fit this ending, as it were. Like, even though I can see it, it skips a lot, because it hasn't explained Helos. It hasn't explained why, what happened to Haka Senpai after. It hasn't really explained that that was his dad involved. Um, just until the end there, he said, oh, I'll be working with my dad. Didn't really explain that too well. Um... So, yeah, uh, after tonight, thank you for all the comments you've left on this series, because I'm sure they've helped not only me, but all other anime-only watchers out in this endeavor, for sure. Um, but yeah, uh, don't forget to hit subscribe as well. Uh, you can now see, with this show complete, the entire Summer 2020 uh, season's worth of um, playlists. They're all going to be on the channel. I'm going to be, uh, at some point... It's going to be difficult because the full season's kicking off right away tomorrow, like I said uh, in the previous episode, uh, not previous episode, in the ReZero video today. Um, the full season kicks off straight away tomorrow with uh, Higurashi and Assault Lily, I believe. Uh, I think it's just those two that are starting because uh, uh, Akadama and Adachi are both, um, I think they're both next week. So yeah, we're skipping off with two of these. Then we've got Burn the Witch is also meant to be airing at 1am my time tomorrow um 5 p.m pacific time is when it releases on crunchyroll in a free part segment i don't know how it works but that will also be tomorrow so i'll work on getting some of the spring shows that i've missed uh like some of the episodes are missing still uh, i'll get them up as redirects arte i just did uh yesterday and i'll work on those where i can that they're, they're easy to do i just need to spend a lot of time uploading which means i have to just leave it uploading overnight whilst I'm asleep, uh, or over day technically with my sleep schedule, uh, just so I can actually use my computer at the same time as uh, getting stuff done. So anyway, thank you everyone for watching. I hope you're going to be joining me for some full shows. Uh, if you found my channel through Mr. Love, thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully there's a, a series uh, in the full season that you'll also be looking forward to watching with me as well. Thank you everyone for watching, and until next time, see you guys later.